so when you visit my YouTube channel, I do a bag of bag of like something something. I cook, I cook my jayer, I do DIY video, my vlog, buy up like clothes, and do a fashion or food. No? So if this is what you like, stick around and welcome to my channel. We on a work trip and we are at Hatch Hill River in Ocho Rios. It's raining, such a bummer. So Touch Hill River Park is located like 25 minutes outside of Ocho Rios. I do believe it was a thousand dollars for the entry fee, but I'll definitely go ahead and put their information in the description box down below so you can reach out to them and get your own confirmation when you're coming please come with a lot of activities planned because the space up here for to do a bugger thing run jump hide skip hop a lot of space for all of that the river water was so nice it was so cool when it comes down to like river falls beaches and so forth i have a fear because i feel like i'm going drown but let me tell you the water was so nice it was just everything um so at touch hill there is actually a zip line here um unfortunately nobody not pass so we can't even capture no but yeah they do um if you're coming though i highly recommend if you bring your food i don't have people up here sell food and if they do maybe i wasn't even realizing but what we did we just brought our food up here it's really a good river honestly it's a vibe music playing people playing football you know so it's a good trip to plan honestly Into who? We're leaving. School is actually coming to an end, and I do have a preparation for my graduation pictures. So I am actually rushing to get my nails done right now. And I have a hair appointment tomorrow, so that is what my weekend is looking like. I can't do the hair and nails in one day business. I can easily get annoyed, easily get drained. And yeah, exam is right around the corner. And I have to say that this is just a end for a new beginning, if you understand. So I'll talk to you guys when I get to the nail tech or whatever I have in. <laughs> So I've completed my nail appointments as you can see from the previous clip. Head into the supermarket to pick up something real quick and head home because I have a lot of chores to do and a lot of stuff to do today. So 
yeah at least i will relax my hair on my own dye it roll it up i'm proud of me so i am here at the salon I'm not inside yet my hair just up on for something i don't know it's like have you guys ever prepared for something big like a special moment and the words of the things just start to happen like for example my face start break out this unnecessary thing from my nose my right eye feel even like somebody told me night I just I just can't bother I went to bed so late yesterday you know I was doing my up doing some work and the way on my eyes yeah I, mean, I think I sleep more asleep but honestly I never really sleep more asleep my eyes just feel funny and make me feel like more asleep if you understand we get up this morning at the same feeling so it feel really grainy though um I was going to say something that I don't remember anyways long story short I'm just going to eat up and done so I can go back home and it's going to leave my house on a Sunday to be honest so I don't know I'll probably catch you guys maybe tomorrow later I'm not sure but let's see So I know my friend was up at the back and this is with the girl. Just finished take the gradation pictures then. Oh, maybe I could half an hour ago. So we're heading out and met my friend. I eat, I'm very hungry. I only eat breakfast in the morning. I worry about things up. My makeup artist couldn't make it because she couldn't. She wasn't well. I'm gonna have to find the next option to get my makeup done. So, one bag of disappointments. I'll well, see you. Anything with chocolate, my friend. I don't know where the girl gone. I'm very hungry. So this last part is of the vlog. It's going to be more like a chit chat type of vibe. Cool. But of course, I'm going to do the restaurant review like I promised. I would in the event I visit any restaurants here in Jamaica. And also we're going to talk about school, graduation, um, future what's next and all of those good stuff. So let's jump right into it. I visit crew restaurant located at Lady Musgrave Road. You can definitely check the description box for the exact street number. So yeah, um, let's talk about the ambience. The ambience was really good. Crew is a restaurant that is located on the rooftop, you know? So when it comes on to a rooftop type of dining, it's just different. It's just so unique. And you know, you get in a view to see outside and all of that stuff. So it's definitely a five out of five for me for the ambience. Um, what that I didn't like is the flies. So you know you're outside, the flies they might go more than likely like a bother you. Uh, when it comes on to dining, it was just such a big inconvenience, so uncomfortable, so bothering. It was just so annoying. Like, I mean, I know how much more stress it. So when you eat and the fly, we know all the eating something and the fly go. It can be very annoying. Cool. so that was just a little uh, not liking that part of it so yeah can definitely give it a visit though it's a nice as a vibe 
on to customer service so customer service wise i am going to grade two persons because we had a waitress and then we had a waiter after that so i think i have to give them two separate grades now to begin with the waitress though we had her first so you know i don't like the fact that we have to be going to a restaurant to be asking for water i am so used to going to a restaurant where they start you off with water my friend had to literally ask her like are you going to give us water or we don't get water what the case may be you know and i'm gonna feel like nobody's supposed to come in a restaurant and ask for water because you're supposed to be given cool so that was that first turn down but they notice worse when they thirsty remember like that and uh, she was okay but she never gave me a wow factor because you know she was there when it's time for her to take the order it's a case she just she there and she just lean up on the pole I mean, if I told you on Monday, nobody like they were up on a Monday or what the case may be. But she wasn't customer friendly, you know. She wasn't just up there like she's here to give a good customer service. So she was just... I don't know if I explain her. I don't know if I explain her. But our vibe was just dead. It was just too dead. And I mean, I like that. But I always used to the waitress them. I always uh, interact with them, with them customer and support. More friendly, you, you know. Mm -hmm. Some about the girl vibe. I never like it. I don't know if I'm a little bit tired, but I just never like her vibe. So, um, the waitress had two words of five for me, for she on a whole. It just, our customer service just wasn't up there for me. No, she went for lunch. Um, now came her co-worker and his personality versus hers is just way different and i have to give my five out of five because in common and you know approach her so nicely and willing to you know do whatever we ask and come and clear the table crack a one and two joke with us so it was just so different i'm like look at that you know so he had to, he might forget the five was a five for me. He was just so different, you know. His customer service was literally there. He literally seems like he he's here to work and here to assist these two ladies. His energy was there, you know. Him just definitely just seems like somebody who is willing to assist you. It just seems like you were bothering him or anything of that sort. So that was indeed a plus for me, yeah. So yeah, it was a it's just a good choice part though. You can definitely give it a try. Now on to the food now. Huh. No. I'm not sure if crew, if they just cooks cook with a lot of spice on a whole, or it's just the fact that based on what you choose on the menu, maybe spicy. No, when I taste the curry mo'o curry the curry mountain was just too spicy it is just so overbearing you cannot eat it no me i love to cook with pepper and i do believe that curry for a pepper curry chicken curry mountain whatever the case may be for a pepper but it is supposed to have pepper to the point where you cannot eat the food like how you enjoy it you understand it is supposed to all the way up here so like make it right here so so that was totally a big turn off that like, I could not eat the food. I could eat I could eat it like when my friend asked me to taste it, I was like, uh mm, it's okay, but it's, it's too much. It was too much pepper. And this is a next restaurant review that I'm doing. That it's definitely a big thumbs up when it comes down to the rice and peas. Like I don't know what is wrong with these restaurants and their rice and peas. I don't know what to say about it, I don't know what to say. And that meal was served with some fried plantains. And the fried plantain was not planting in. I know that is not a word, but I don't even understand me. So the fried plantain just. It just 
highly just like me just everything in a one it just oh so I never like that it's like I never like it so, definitely that caramel mm -mm, was indeed a two out of five no the tacos that I ordered, it was a jerk chicken taco. It's a, in these are jerk chicken tacos, so it's going to be a little bit spicy. You know what was my issue with that taco? When the waitress, they come with it, may I look at it, I'm like, this is a taco. This, this is um the tortilla wrap. Yeah, then put another taco holder and thing. But I never taco that. Me and one, so when you eat taco, you're supposed to have a crunch. So it looks like so anytime you want tacos to eat, I want to know what tacos really taste like. Let me for find myself up for all pro and go up for arm chilitos because that taco wasn't tacoing. That is not a word. So yeah, from um, my tacos, it's a three. It's just, and it was so nice. It was nice, you know, but we have come give me tacos to wrap for. I never had a tartilla wrap or a taco. And like I said, then the feeling taco. But it's not real taco, though. That's not real taco. So, yeah. um, I really appreciate, though, if you, you guys know any nice spot. You can let me know down below in the comment section. You can add it to my restaurant list that I have. I really appreciate it. No. Let's talk about graduation. So yes, we all know the girl has graduated. And if you follow me on Instagram at Domo Unique underscore, you have seen I posted the picture sometimes last week. And girl is looking fine. All right. So first question that a lot of persons been asking: What school did you attend? So I know the reason why a lot of persons ask is because. Normally on a graduation picture, you will see the name of your institution below. But there's a little story to that. It's a case where the photographer or teacher was going to let come to the school. Like, what do you kind of drift from that? Because what do you want them days where you get a picture in a collage for a cutout to see out to friends and family? So it so happened that my friend asked if it was okay if we could just do our pictures elsewhere like a studio and get a nicer setup for us and stuff like that. She said yes, it was okay to do it that way. So we said, alright, cool, we'll go with the idea. But it's a case where we told her to forget to ask the photographer who did our pics if he was able to get the name of the picture on it. We just never remember, honestly. But I know though, if it was the other photographer who come to school, he would have definitely get it done because he's somebody who's always working with the institution. And that's why say no all of that. But we just remember to ask the photographer who we use, and we actually like his kind. We we just we all went with that idea because we know for sure it's so the picture that might come out nice, 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 nice. So we we don't have no doubts. I'm happy about that, honestly. So I actually went to Hartress. I studied early childhood education and by all that means you can probably tell I want to become a teacher. Yes, even though I am a little bit not liking the career anymore because I think it's because I have so much business ideas in my head and I feel like I just want to work, you know. I just don't want to work. I just want to have a business and just have different sorts of income. I can just get a photo of my bed when I'm finished sleeping instead of having my phone alarm 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning to so go out to work. But hey, who knows what the future holds because this that I have accomplished and what I'm yet to accomplish that's more to come. You know, if I don't want to teach, I can definitely go ahead and open my daycare if I wish. So it's, I don't know what the future holds. Um, there's so much to do, so much that I can get done, honestly um no school doesn't stop right here i do have uh i want to continue i want to continue the course i want to go further and see what happens from there um <laughs> i've been fighting back and forth going to school for the past three years and you know the same way i was fighting the same way i really wanted to get in i'm just gonna just fight to the end and just you know do the do so yeah been a fight from 2019 check my instagram the hashtag yep now 
I don't I wonder if I have anything else that I want to mention though I don't think so I feel like I wrap it up enough I feel like I wrap it up enough you know but who knows like I don't know what to say but we'll but I'll definitely do but I trust God and I just leave it to God to you know guide me in the right path despite all the school and everything I really want to accomplish those three business ideas that I have in mind and yep and i know you know if i even don't get all three done i'm certain i'll at least get one done and i want to at least get one done and see what happens from there so yes that is basically it for this vlog i covered what i want to cover i am really happy i have this little break from school super happy i really hope i can just put out some more videos for the summer i am really hoping keeping my fingers crossed so thank you so much for stopping by it's my the chit chat corner <laughs> uh if you have not yet subscribed you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and uh share the video tell a friend to tell a friend feel free to leave a comment down below so we can just interact and thank you so much for watching